There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And this is Brain Breaker. So I am ready for my brain to be broken. And it says 1991 there. Presumably that's when it came out. And you have a level selection thing at the bottom here. And a maze size, which can change the size of a square. So let's just play level 2 maze size 3 and see what happens. It's mouse controlled. Uh, looks a bit ASCII on it, but isn't quite, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. You know what? It might be coloured ASCII. Somebody can tell me in the comments. That's the great thing about my comments section. There are people just lurking there that know more about DOS games than I do. So I think you highlight the lines, right, of this almost Rubik's cube like structure. And then when we click, it changes the color. Yes. And the goal of the game... Oh, I get it now. It's very, very simple, but very tricky at the same time. It's almost like a Rubik's cube in that you have to change all the colors to one type and it's keeping track of your moves and let's, uh, let's see I was so close so close but so far uh, that that affords me the opportunity to do this though and I can change almost everything again <laughs> but not quite I don't think you can change the middle three all at once you can change the sides but I can't get the middle three. Maybe I'm just not selecting that right. Hmm. It's almost like those sliding tile puzzle games. Where you're mo Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Hey, did I just beat Brain Breaker? Ready? Congratulations! You made it! I beat a puzzle game. Yeah, let's play another. So let's turn the level up to 5 and the maze size up to 5. And that is the most difficult, I think. What if we turn the level down? Congratulations. Okay, uh, level 1. Yes. So that's... that's. Is that any different? Huh. Somebody can tell me. I think it might be a difficulty level rather than... You know, level is in the term, you know, a different level of a game. So, this this seems deceptively easy. Is this because I need to uh, reshuffle it or something? Or have I just beaten it now? Uh, let's hit the new button. Nope, that continues to give us... See, it's, it's much easier if it's just one colour. There we go. I had to change the maze size. So, it seems to remember that maze size 5 has been defeated. But maze size 3 and maze size 4 are not on level 5. So yeah, I, I could play on, but yeah, you get the idea. That's Brain Breaker. What is it? It's kind of a weird mix of sliding puzzle game, but not really, Rubik's Cube, and just a general sort of clicky puzzle game. It's fairly rudimentary and very, very forgiving because it allowed me to win, of all people. As some of you know, I'm notoriously poor at puzzle games. It's fairly inoffensive and it does its job. And for that, I commend it. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on the channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if your brain has been broken from watching too much of a random DOS game show, and it has decided to give me money, then you might be one of these excellent puzzling sleuths who enjoy the end of these videos because they never know what I'm going to call them next. A secret cabal of very forgiving individuals who could beat Brain Breaker even quicker than I could. So yeah, not much more to say about this one. Simple little puzzle game, but does what it says on the tin again. Until next time.